Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where myself and Brett Hello. are going to be taking a look at the second version of the Land Rover Series 2. Now apart from the fact that this one's grey and the first one was green there are a lot of other details that are different to this one. For instance the stripe going across the side of it is a, a different addition and if my wife can get hot to see the back of the windscreen the way they've done that is completely different like the stickers that was on the original one are missing and also something I loved on the original was they had a little like little tax disc on there and that's missing off of this one which is a little bit of a shame but it does mean that you've got something that looks a little bit different they've still got the good little bit of diamond plate detail on the front but something we did notice was the the line the color of the lines is a bit um a bit funny really because land rover obviously is a british car it was also used by the british army quite a lot and that line sort of looks like it's from a different country so so uh, it's like kind of seemed a bit odd to choose those colors but it's still a really cool model. I think that... Oh, he's going in reverse. He didn't want to go forward today. No, he didn't, did he? Hang on. Let's see. This is a funny one. You don't... Oh, you don't choose which way you send the thing. It, it's just pot luck when you turn the switch on which way it decides to go. That's what's great, isn't it? But it still looks like a really cool model. I still really do like it. I just didn't... Uh, didn't notice straight away that there were so many changes and then as you look at it you see so many different things and I think to put, yeah, but to put that much effort into completely redesigning the look of a vehicle is pretty decent because it's so easy to just go well we'll make the same vehicle but to change the colour of it we'll just make it grey instead of green but they went all out with this it was change it from green to grey put the stripes on change the, the stickers and all that that are on the back of the windscreen like this one the stick on the back of this one's Land Rover it's the Land Rover symbol so mm. I appreciate the details I appreciate the fact that they went out and redesigned the look of it and it does make it look like a different it's a bit like if you lived on a street and two people had the same car but it wouldn't be exactly the same there's some differences to them and I appreciate that I think that's a really cool car and I'm glad I found it because I've actually been on a dry spell of finding cars because from the first lot of case A which was in about December or January when I found those I have hardly found any cars at all since then and luckily I found some true. now no it is A if you go to any shop there are some cars there yeah there's some cars but they're older cars you don't know you didn't specify <sighs> B if you go onto any road this is a guarantee you will find a car driving past or parked. That's your t donut. You never specified what type of car either. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to be a quick look at this car. I think it's an awesome model. I do recommend picking one up if you can find it. But for now, if you like this kind of thing, please consider subscribing. But for now, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thanks.